Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speaks. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Mm-hmm. Eh? Yes. Look at so there was a big debate going on both during and after Sunday's Super Bowl regarding Jay-Z and Beyonce sitting down during Demi Lovato's performance of the national anthem. Now, Fox News reporter Tommy Lauren was the first one that I actually noticed to point it out. She took to her Twitter Sunday and said this, Beyonce and Jay-Z, former Yayo dealer, sit for the national anthem because apparently the United States of America has oppressed them with millions upon millions of dollars in fans. Sounds rough? Maybe they should try another country that allows them a little more freedom and success. Now Colin Kaepernick took to his IG story and said, I thought we were past kneeling though. Now a lot of people took Beyonce and Jay-Z not standing during the national anthem as a stance. The same type of stance that Colin Kaepernick took when he knelt. It was a peaceful protest which took Kaepernick from a star quarterback to the unemployment line real quick. But as his Nike campaign says, believe in something even if it means sacrificing everything. And that's exactly what he did. Now a lot of people have been giving Jay-Z the side eye because back in August, he and his company Rock Nation signed a very controversial deal with the NFL that included him producing music for NFL events and halftime shows. Many felt that Jay-Z signing with the NFL totally undermined Kaepernick's fight for racial injustice, although Jay-Z said his partnership with the NFL was his way of moving the conversation forward. And speaking of moving forward, Jay-Z also said that they've moved past kneeling, but now he's sitting. Now this has invoked a lot of conversation. The Real talked about it on Monday and said this. Beyonce and Jay-Z, they were in attendance last night. In fact, TMZ Sports posted a video that showed them sitting during the na- national anthem. Many applauded the silent protest. Colin Kaepernick actually called them out on his IG story saying, quote, I thought we were past kneeling though. Colin seems to be referring to a recent interview Jay did with the New York Times, why you laughing Lonnie, where he said that Colin protests were three years ago and it's time to focus on what we can do now. Why are you, why are you sighing? I'm sighing because I think that there's no need to say that. Like, for what it's worth, they weren't kneeling. Um, and the other part of it is, like, I know me, like, I don't stand for the national anthem either. Mm-hmm. But also, he, they're not in the game. Like, they're not players in the game. I think that what Colin did was great. I think the ghost of Colin Kaepernick didn't let the Niners win. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, I, you know, for what it's worth, like, Black folks for centuries have found ways to, you know, we deal with microaggressions and we found ways to have micro revolutions and someone, something of like this nature, their status doing this on camera, like it is a statement. So I feel like it was an opportunity for Colin to say like, I'm glad y'all are, even if to say like, I'm glad you had a change of heart, maybe. Uh, Now, Jay-Z, who recently launched the Sean Jay-Z Carter Lecture Series, sat down yesterday with journalism professor Jelani Cobb at Columbia University, and he had this to say about his quote, end quote, peaceful protest. Take a listen to this. So, I think a lot of people took note of the fact that you and your wife were seated um, during the National Anthem at the Super Bowl. Um, Was that meant to convey a statement? It actually was. Sorry. <laughs> it really wasn't. Um, what happened was uh, it was not premeditated at all. Like we was, remember now the context. Like TMZ can tell you anything without speaking to me. I, I need to tell you if, I, if it was me, I would say, yes, that's what I've done. And I think people would know that about me. But what happened was we got there and we were sitting and now the show's about to start. And my wife is with me and she wanted to go great. And so she says to me, I know this feeling right here. Like she's she's super nervous because she performed the Super Bowl before. I had it. Um, <laughs> and, 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 and then um, so we get there and we immediately jump into artist mode. So now we're looking, I'm like, did I tell you you're on the Miami performing? And and you know, I, I got the um the choir from Miami, you know, we want everyone to be involved in this and dead ones and all that. I'm telling them that we're talking and um now I'm really just looking at the show. So I'm looking at the show. Did a mic start? Did, was it too low to start? We added a bunch of sound because mm. um, the sound was done for TV. So I had to explain to him as an artist, 
If you don't feel the music, you can't really reach that level. Mm -hmm. You can't really reach a level of performance unless you can feel the music. And it was like a big struggle to get all the sound. So if, I don't know if everyone knows, there's so many speakers on the floor. And I was like, well, is there too many speakers on the floor? So should be up here? And I'm looking at the, um, the eye mag and I'm like, it's too many cutaways from Yolanda. Mm -hmm. um, I, I want to see the players, but I definitely want to see when she hit that last note. It was beautiful and they missed it. So the whole time we're, we're sitting there, we're talking about the performance. And then right after that, Denny comes out and we're talking about how beautiful she looked and how she sound and what she's gone through um, in her life for her to be on the stage and we were so proud of her. And then, you know, um, it finished and then my phone rang and it was like, you know you ain't just, I'm like, what? <laughs> and, and, and by the way, we couldn't stage that. Blue was right next to us. We wouldn't do that to, to Blue and put her in that position. And if anyone knows Blue, no one knows Blue. There's no way we could. <laughs> If, if, if we told her we were gonna do something like that, you would see her tapping me a hundred times. She's the kid that gets in the car and closes the door and says, we didn't yet, daddy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so she would, she would say, what time? Are we doing it? Are we doing it now? Are we doing it now? It's 7.05, daddy. I'm doing it. It's she got that on my phone. Not entertaining her. It's like a thing that, like, why is this not? What's the thing? Expanders. <laughs> she did she did an expander and we went took it I took it to the dentist and Dr. Shadow Dr. Sandy and she literally they have to make it. They took a mold of her teeth and you know she literally got in the car and said, When will it be ready? <laughs> I said, Hey, it's gonna take at least a couple of days. So she she next day she woke up, is my expander ready? Next day she, I got a call from the teacher. She went to school with teacher, Shoshana. She called me and said, uh, Blue says you're picking up to go get her expanded. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my kid. So there's no way we can, we can plan that with her. We, we, you, you, if you look at the video, you will see that. It's just a thing. And the seats were high. It just was like a, it just happened. And if it was something that I, we were making the loudest thing. I didn't have to make a silent protest. You know, if you look at the stage, the artists that we chose, um, looking from Colombian, Shaq, and Puerto Rican, J Lo. We were making the loudest stands, and we had um, um, Boku Jean, um, a commercial runner in social injustice at the Super Bowl. We were making the biggest, loudest protest of all. I, wouldn't have, I didn't have to, given the context, I didn't have to make a, a silent protest. Now, Jay Z and Beyonce were not the only ones in their section that was sitting down during the national anthem. However, a lot of people still pointed the fingers towards them. Someone they won't be pointing the finger towards is this guy. You cannot have people disrespecting our national anthem, our flag, our country. I don't think you can disrespect our country, our flag, our national anthem. We love our country. We respect our flag. And we always proudly stand for the national anthem. We always will stand for the national anthem. I guess as long as you're standing, you can do whatever you want to disrespect the flag, honey. Just make sure you stand. Y'all, I need to hear from you. What do you think about all of this commotion going on around Beyonce and Jay-Z not standing up for the national anthem? Do you take what Jay-Z said as his reason for not standing? Do you really believe what he said? And also, what do you think about them not going in on this guy? I'm not saying his name on my channel because YouTube plays too much with my money when it goes into politics anyway leave a comment tell me what you think about everything that's going on surrounding jay-z beyonce the national anthem and his excuse and leave a comment and you know how we do we'll talk about it down below talk to you guys later bye now before I end this video, I want to tell you about a company called Ash Kicking. Now you know your girl Chronicles would not promote a company without doing one of those thorough Chronicle Speaks investigations, honey. And Ash Kicking definitely passed the test. Y'all make sure to check out AshKicking.com for one of the best 100% natural home fragrance and beauty products, honey. And use my code Chronicles at checkout for an extra 15% off just for you. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new episodes.